This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so we'll be starting our next topic that is organizational levels and it's customizing. So today onwards we will see uh, configuration, backend configuration. Okay, so in this topic, uh, in this session, we are going to cover uh, relationships between the organizational levels of MM and their environment significance of purchase organization and reference purchase organizations we will see that customizing of plant and store its storage locations with different addresses so today we will see the plant configuration and uh, storage location configuration and valuation area and its customizing so these are the topics we will be covering in the uh, organization structure customizing so before uh, uh, proceeding with the uh, organization structure in mm mm we need to understand the organizational units in accounting because uh, whenever we create a po we have a company code company code uh, our our the plant in our logistics in mm is assigned to the company code okay so first we need to uh, understand the organizational units in accounting due to integration okay so the organizational units in accounting they are one is company code one is company code we discussed already what is company code during our our uh, enterprise structure classes in the beginning okay this company code this company code is assigned to chart of accounts okay and then business area and then controlling area okay so why we are discussing this is if you if you if you go to our PO, suppose let's say when we are trying to create a PO, I mean the system. When we are trying to create a PO, if you go to ME 21 n okay, if you open the header here, if you go to organizational data, here you see you have the company code. So we need to understand in detail what is this company code and uh, its assignment to the chart of accounts business area and controlling area. Of course, all these chart of accounts, business area, controlling area, and the company code we are talking about, all these are created in the system by the FIT. But still, as a MM consultant, you should have a minimum uh, knowledge about these ones, okay? So let's continue. So company code. Company code uh, we discussed already uh, in our org structure sessions. The company code is the smallest and minimum necessary organizational structure in SAP that required by law to provide a set of financial records. So company code is mandatory from the FI perspective. Okay, and our plant, MM plant, is always assigned to the company code. Okay, so let me show you this in the in the system, the company code. Okay, so let me go back. I'll start the configuration again. So type SPRO, SAP reference IMG. Okay. Go to enterprise structure. Okay, go to definition. Then financial accounting. Okay, here you have edit, copy, delete, check company code. So if you go here, this is the one. So just select the first one, double click. Okay, or let me go to the previous one second one okay so here you see here you have all the company codes here here you have all the company codes okay suppose if you select the first one triple zero one the one which we are using and to see its address you see here you can see here you can see here its address but before that to see the details click on this button magnifying lens button if you click on that you can see so this is the country this is the country this company code exists in this country and its currency euro so that's all every company code will have a currency attached to it so here if you see the currency is euro currency is euro okay and the language and the city and the country and to, to see the detail address information you need to click on this button address button if you click on that you can see the address but here it is not maintained properly as this is a training system okay so this is the company code so if you want to create a new company code 
simple either you can copy from the existing one select the one of the existing company code click on copy as and then you can create or you just click on the button new entries and you can create so company code creation uh, is the responsibility of fi team but they will create normally okay so let's continue so the next one is chart of accounts chart of accounts is a list of is a list of all gl accounts used by one or several company codes so this chart of accounts to some extent we discussed during our uh, automatic account determination sessions okay so this chart of accounts is will be created by fi team and the company code is assigned to the chart of accounts so let me show you this Okay, close this. Let me search Control F. Sign company to chart. Here you have financial accounting, general ledger accounting master data gl accounts preparations here you see assign company code to chart of accounts so if you go here our company code is triple zero one and it is assigned to the chart of accounts int so if you see here we have company code company code company code we are using is triple zero one is assigned to chart of accounts chart of accounts and the chart of accounts here is int this is int int okay so one so one of the uh, organization structure assigned to the company code is one is chart of accounts okay so that's what we discussed this is the one chart of accounts okay next Controlling area. What is controlling area? Is an organizational unit within a company for which complete self contained cost accounting can be carried out. Okay. So, this is again from the cost accounting perspective. A controlling area can cover one or more company codes. Okay. So, let me show you this controlling area. This is the one. Our company code is there. It is assigned to a controlling area okay so let me show you this go back okay so again let's go to our enterprise structure definition controlling area go to controlling here you see maintain controlling area so if you go here this is the one this is the place where they maintain the controlling area somebody has logged it but it's okay this is a controlling area here in our case triple zero one if you go to details this is the one this is a controlling area okay so now in this controlling area let's go back okay now this controlling area will be assigned to the company code okay again i'll go to controlling in the assignment here you see assign company code to controlling area if you go here it's okay see the controlling area triple zero one is assigned to some company codes you see it is assigned to company code triple zero one so here chart of accounts is there next controlling area controlling area it is triple zero one okay so if you see here the same controlling area is assigned to more than one company code see here same controlling area is assigned to more than one company code here it is a controlling area can cover one or more company codes that's what okay now the next one is business area business area business area is an organization unit that corresponds to a specific business segment or area of responsibility in a company. Okay. 
okay so business area is like a it's like a more or like a division let's say you have a company they manufacture uh, electrical 